Hi, this is Bryant, Brian's son. I'm a senior consultant at Red Hat, which is a company known for its Red Hat Enterprise Linux server, Rail, and also its open source project contributions. I'm also opensource.com correspondent, which means I regularly write for opensource.com, really passionate about open source, and then I also join meetings regularly with other open source correspondents. If you're interested in also writing for opensource.com, go to the website and you can submit an article and then you can go from there. So today I'm going to talk about something called Doxify, which is really nice, a site generator for a document generator for uh, using a GitHub page. So if you are interested in writing any kind of like the documentation link and you can easily accomplish using the Doxify. It's an open source based on the MIT license and it's really easy to do so. So let me show you how you can do it and then so you can create a nice looking documentation page using just a Doxify. So let's see how you can do it. So the first thing is here is open source.com demos page which you can find the URL. I'm going to copy and clone the code. I'm going to copy with a git link instead of using HTTPS. So Make sure that you create a prop public key and private key use the SAC key generator and anyway, I'm going to copy, copy the link. So second thing is that we're going to clone the, the GitHub repo. We're going to use the git clone command and here's the URL. So it's going to create a clean cloning process. Again, you need to have a private and public key so you can clone it. And we are going to go inside the open source demo and Doxify demo and see the content right there. So let's create a new repository. You can name it as Doxify demo, but usually you can also use it your own GitHub repo, the central root page. But I'm going to use it just Doxify demo, the uh, repository for this. I'm going to create a new repository, and we are going to clone this URL, uh, Git repo. So we're going to copy the URL. Again, copy with the Git, it's Git link, it's a uh, HTTPS link. So now we are going to clone this uh, URL the git repo too. So we're going to create the Doxify demo, which is empty. So now we're going to go to Doxify demo. We're going to see there's nothing there. Now I have two folders: one for the open source .com demo and Doxify demo. We are going to go to open source .com demo and go to Doxify demo, and we're going to copy that and go back to the Doxify demo and we're going to paste there. So now we want to delete the file called node Jekyll for now because it's going to cause trouble later. So then we're going to try to check it delete for now. So now we are in the Doxify. We're going to go to the Doxify demo your folder and then we are going to basically see and then commit and push our code to the repo. So we're going to just add, git add and git commit which is a message. with initiating the Doxify and we're going to push it. So it's a sense. Let's go. So now we are going to go back to our Git repo and then we're going to refresh the page. And then now we will see our folders and the files right there. So now we are going to go to settings is because this is where we can modify our GitHub page. And then now we want to change that source option to master branch because it's the only branch we have. So they will already make a generate our GitHub page when they go there. You'll see nothing there. This is because there's this no Jekyll file issue. So we're gonna change that. So we're gonna create a new file called the no Jekyll, which is empty file. And we're gonna check in the code. The reason why this is happening is because uh, the no Jekyll, even though the Doxify specified and included, there's some minor issue error regarding it. So we need to kind of checking in and then deleting the process over and over again. And this will generate our Doxify. And then we want to remove the file. So we are doing the process of delete the jump jack again. Now when you refresh the page, then you will see that, you know, nice uh, the 
Darcy page was generated. So let's go inside the file, each file more detail. So we have the index.html. The important thing to notice the first thing is that on the line 9, we have including CSS from CDN, Container Management System, and we're going to toxify JavaScript with the other game with the CDN. Second thing we're going to look is number line 13, where this is the app, ID app, is where we're going to render. Then there is the most important part is a, starting from line 14 to 20 is a script. So this is basically that read the special L, which is what the ID is rendered. And repo is at basically falling to the link that when you click it, get up icon. And load sidebar is looking for the default sidebar with the underscore sidebar that mark that file. So second file when I'm looking at is going to look at is a sidebar MD markdown file. This is basically your navigation bar. So when you specify the sidebar, the load sidebar goes through. This is what I'm looking for. It's just a little GitHub page link, but the important thing to notice is that you need to use indentation if you want to create a server page. So that's pretty much it. So I hope this is helpful to you, and this is a very easy way to create a Doxify, um, Doxify with a documentation page. And if you, please, thanks for watching, and then please tune, stay tuned for the next the, the next uh, tutorial. Is uh, talking about technology. Thanks again, and please be sure to subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.